We started to realise around 2000 that if we look over the last 30 years, there are a whole lot of quite worrying increases in problems affecting Australia's children and young people. When you look at the factors that are protective and nurturing for children and children's development, many of those have decreased. Things like having a very positive nurturing family life, uh, having a, an environment, a, a society that values children and therefore will adapt to provide for children what they need. All those things have fallen away. And risk factors, those sorts of things have actually increased. I think the things that are most worrying for Australia's children and young people are these mental health, psychosocial problems, which translate into uh, difficulties at school, aggressive behaviours, depression, and the tip of that, of course, is uh, self-harm and suicide. So these issues are incredibly complex. These aren't simple diseases that we can use a vaccine for. If only it were that simple. The workplace is now very negative for parenting. You have this incredible debate going on in our society about the work-life balance. Well, where are the children in that? Somewhere there are children who are not getting the nurturing they need because the workplace wants profits, the workplace doesn't consider a worker as a parent, they just want the work. That's the kind of society which we've created. It's one that's actually forgotten children. Well, I think it's very difficult to be a, a good parent and I think most parents are trying their hardest, but it's very difficult when they, when they might lack the support and structures to do that and there's an increasing marginalisation of many families from the benefits of this excessive focus on wealth creation. Now, some people will say, to just be part of a modern nation, then we have to accept this level of problems in children and young people. That's horrifying, that's anguishing, that is not acceptable. How would we feel if Australia came home from the Olympics with no medals? Not one gold, no silver, no bronze, because that's what the report card is telling us. We don't come first, second or third in any of the international comparative indicators that we have. In fact, the best that can be said of the results in the report card is that we're very average. What are we prepared to settle for uh, for our kids in Australia? And what sort of society do we want for our children? Are we comfortable having an average result for our kids or do we want the best result for our kids? We've actually got to get everyone in our society to say, hang on, this is not acceptable to me either. I think we just now need to get enough people in our society worried but not paralysed to actually action change. But it is everyone that has to do that. There might be lots of different things you would do, but you would do it. You wouldn't just sit there and say, isn't it terrible? These kids are so dangerous. You would say, no, no, I, I think now this is the time for me to act. Our performance is very average at the moment, but we can change that. A lot of other countries have recognised problems in, in child wellbeing many years ago and have moved over five to ten years to change that, to turn that around. We can do that in Australia. So we have a society now that needs to make a major change if it is going to value children and young people. Everyone is responsible for Australia's children.